Hi, this is Karen Elaine with Yasutomo, and today I'm going to show you how to do a one-stroke flower using just a sumi brush, some sumi ink, and some rice paper. So let's get started. Shake up the gold infused ink first and pour a larger amount in one dish, then a smaller amount in the second and a little bit smaller amount in the third. And that way you'll be able to make a variegated wash. You want it from dark, light to dark actually. So I'll be putting some water in both of these, or actually all three. Actually not really. I'm going to just keep, put water in only the two and leave the concentrated black in the first. And I also need to spray the gold ink just to get it nice and moist ready for the painting. Now I'm using a rice paper card basically. It's a, a card with rice paper mounted on it. Uh, you can use plain rice paper as well for this technique. And everything's ready to go. I've got my rag, I've got my water, and I will be using one brush. It is a beautiful Japanese brush and I wet it first. It's a kimono brush and it's actually very absorbent, it holds lots of water. So I, I dip the brush in the lighter color, the lighter gray, all the way in, all the way to the end. And then halfway through, I dip the brush in the medium color. It's kind of a darker dark gray, almost black, but not quite. And the very last, I'll tip the brush into the black ink. This has a little gold though. It will show a little bit. And I'm just going to put the brush down and kind of lay it down and, and move my hand just enough to make those petals very spontaneous and quick. And you'll see there's a variegation and it's lighter. The petals have a three-dimensional look with the gold in the center. So it's really kind of a fun technique and it's really easy and quick. And then I will take the gold which is already moistened and it's a very concentrated gold and I'll put that into the center part of the flower just to give it a nice highlight. It's a beautiful effect, lots of fun to do. It just pops on that on that rice paper. Now I'll just dip the paintbrush into the black and create a stem and a leaf. Keep it simple, just one stroke starting at the base near the bottom of the stem. And in this case, I kind of messed it up, but that's okay. I'm just going to do another one and I'll start a little bit, just go off the edge. Just have fun doing it. 